Hey guys, I'm back with another wig tutorial. This will be a quick install. I'm gonna keep this very beginner friendly because I know that some of you that watch my YouTube videos are just beginning and learning how to put on wigs. This wig that I'm wearing is by RJ Parks. It is a synthetic wig in the style RJ style. I will show the tag later in the video. So if you like this wig, keep watching and stay tuned into this video. I'm gonna jump right into it. I am so excited to show you guys my new wig. Let me tell you, I already opened it because whenever I get a package, I just become so impatient and it just eats away at me that I need to open it. So this is an RJ Parks wig in the shade 4327 and the style is RJ style. It is a premium natural styled fiber. It has natural looking lace as well as a 100% human hair blend. So this is half synthetic, half human. It is heat safe up to 350 degrees and it is infused with Jamaican black castor oil so it's gonna feel really soft to touch which I can already tell from just like stroking my hand through it. For those of you who like human, this might not be the video for you. She's long, very long, like 26 to 30 inches long. So I did actually pry it on my head already. She is a little tight. Uh, for those of you who have a bigger head, this might not be the wig for you. I managed to stretch it out and I managed to fit it onto my head because the cap is quite stretchy. I'm gonna show you the inside. I'm just gonna flip it open. So you got two combs, one here, one here on the sides, and then you've got one at the back. Let me see if you have one in the middle. There are no combs in the middle. The parting space is very small. Like you've got maybe like an inch or two deep to part. So if you like a deep part, this again might not be the wig for you. I personally don't mind it. I feel like as long as the hair looks good. Like you've got shorter hair in the back. I don't know if you can see it. Just to hide some of the tracks. So I'm just gonna brush through it. Ooh. That hair is very soft and quite easy to comb. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the tag off and install this. I will not be gluing my, my wig cap to my head. Because this is a tighter cap as well, I don't think I really need to. I will be gluing the wig to my head, but I just won't glue the cap to my head. The caps we're using today are from Dream. Dream. That's all it says on the front. I love these wig caps because they're really cheap on AliExpress. I get them for like a dollar. And I love the shade. This is in the shade, I believe light brown, 097, which I think is their light brown shade if I'm not mistaken. All right, so I'm just gonna go in and stretch the cap a little bit because I got a big head, a big old head. Then I'm just gonna line it up with my hairline. I've already had my hair, I already, I just came out of the shower, so I've already put product and everything in my hair. Um, and I tried to comb it back as much as I could. I'm just gonna line it up with my hairline. And then I'm gonna pull back. I like to pull it a little further down. If I'm not gluing it onto my head, because I know it's probably going to slide back a little bit but that's what my wig cap looks like right now. So I have the, the adjustable straps in the back. I'm gonna unhook them. It gave me so much space through like unhooking the back of the wig. I'm just gonna cut it in half so that I have a little bit more stretch room. Extremely hard to put on. Now I'm gonna take the clip on the side. You know what, I might not need to glue this. This is meant for small heads, y'all. Really small heads. I'm just gonna clip back some of the hair so I can see what I'm doing. I also purchased this wig for $39.97. It was on sale because I think they're phasing it out or it was on clearance at Cloria Beauty Supply. So I'll link their store down below. That was in Canadian dollars. I'll try my best to glue this to my head. I don't know. It like just barely covers my hairline. I'm not gonna use bonding glue to glue this onto my head because it's synthetic, so I'll probably take it off later tonight. 
but I'm just gonna go in with the got to be free spray. I'm gonna blow dry now. Right, so I think that's blow dried enough. I'm cutting as close to the hairline as I can. Some people like to leave a little bit more lace. I don't. He said this lace was invisible. I can totally see this lace. I don't know about you guys, I can see it. I'm gonna have to ha I'm gonna have to put some edges in. I guess now I'm gonna find my part. So the parting space is quite small. I'm gonna I'm gonna pluck some hair. I have to say that I'm very disappointed with this wig so far. I'm gonna see if I can custom it to make it look a little better. But so far the lace is not transparent or invisible. So far the parting space is very tiny. I don't know if you can see what it looks like before I've plucked anything, which I'm going to pluck in a few minutes. But yeah, we'll see if I can save this wig and make it look, uh, Make it look a little bit more wearable. I mean like the part isn't terrible. I mean like now that I look at myself a little further back it doesn't look horrible. I might tease a little more. This is how much hair I pulled out just by the way. Okay, that looks so much better. We're already looking 10 times better. She's already tangling a little bit, but I think it's just because I've been moving so much. We're gonna take the She's Bomb wax stick, my favorite wax stick. This is the Boas Remy brings hair back to life leave-in conditioner and i'm just gonna brush it out now color disappointed me a little because i was expecting more 27 parts just given the fact like to me it's given very number four vibes it looks very number four to me or like maybe like a six sorry guys it totally deleted my outro but thank you so much for watching my video and hope that you tune into the next one bye for now